Today we make a femur bone using Spherene Rhino with help from standard Rhino commands. The femur bone has a cavity on the inside, uh, it has a wall thickness on the outside like a hull and then we have these spongy structures. Let's try replicating this in Spherene Rhino. I have a 3D scan of a femur bone cavity inside here. Quad remeshed the hole and made a low polygon version. Normally I would place a density field point. Here I use these low poly geometries to do that. I use the point cloud command of Rhino to distribute points on each vertex of this geometry. Select this one and now you see I have placed points that follow the volume of my that geometry. I could now by hand place a density field point at each of these points but I can use Rhino scripting for that select the point cloud then I can enter a density let's say 32 and it will place a density point at each of these points made groups out of them alt g generate the group this allowed me to have the whole group selected at once and and enter the density values for all of these points at once that makes it really fast when I finished with all my density points and grouping them together and giving them values I deleted the ones I didn't need Looking at the result, we can see the channel that has been created by the use of cavity points. A cavity point creates a spherical empty space, pushing the ADMS to the side so that we were able to create this channel. What you also see is that we have this more stringy kind of ADMS structure that has been created by using the surface bias, shifting the minimal surface a little bit to the side, creating these kind of stringy structures. Then of course, we see the different layers of density. So we have a high density on the outside and then go lower for the inside, all in three dimensions by the use of the section slices we did before. All this creates this beautiful ADMS structure with different densities, cavity, points and the surface bias. This is one way to the solution of generating density points in three dimensions in a bit more complicated objects. Another alternative take on this is we have this hull thickness here, we grow onto it. This shows the ability that we can have either open ADMS where we want it or close it up. Connected spaces that are connected to the outside with one of the two volumes on each side of our minimal surface. I hope you liked this video. See you next time.